Everybody Hates Chris is a television comedy series that brought four seasons throughout the time period of 2005 and 2009. The show depends on the life of executive producer Chris Rock, who narrates the entire show in each episode. This sitcom shows the misfortunes of adolescent Chris as he experiences childhood in the 1980s in Brooklyn, New York. One component of satire that is firmly used on the show is stereotypes. Chris Rock expresses through stereotypes in order to help exaggerate the characteristics of the people around him. He often uses stereotypes that white people suggest on black people, such as racial discrimination. In this clip, Chris Rock is making fun of both races in the process. Yes, and you fit the profile, cookie boy. I may have only been 13, but I already knew how racial profiling worked. This is what the witness said. He was a black male, medium complexion, about six foot four, 230 pounds. He had brown eyes. Um, he was wearing a scout uniform with a yellow beanie. And uh, he had on dark pants and size 14 dark shoes. And uh, a birthmark on the back of his left wrist. Oh, and, and he walked with a limp. But this is what the cop heard. Um, he was uh, black and uh, black, 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 um, black, black, and he black, 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 and uh, he had uh, black, 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 and uh, oh, a black, yeah, and uh, he walked with a black. Face forward. Using this method to bring the comedy along helps tell that he is simply expressing his childhood in a way that can be identified as equally comical for both sides. There are so many different characters on the show that Chris Rock uses from his childhood to further express the racial stereotypes that he was presented to. However, my main focus will be on Chris Rock's grade school teacher, Miss Morello. Throughout all seasons, we can see Miss Morello racially stereotyping Chris during class. Back in school, Greg was catching up on more than his studies. What year did the American Revolution begin? Greg. Greg! 1942. Greg, what's wrong with you? You're usually so alert. It's because he's staying at my house for the week. Oh, my God, he's drunk? Did he have a 40 for breakfast? I'm not drunk. I'm just not used to getting up so early. Don't be ashamed. Chris's people have a history of being up when the rooster crows to go to work in the fields. Who could expect you to keep up? Go back to sleep. She was dying I miss an address. In almost every scene with Miss Morello, she never fails to racially express things about Chris during class. Can anyone tell me what I'm holding? Chris, an egg? No, Chris. For the next week, this is not an egg. These will be your children. Each and every one of you will be paired with a member of the opposite gender. And the two of you will be the proud parents of a brand new baby boy or girl. Make my baby sunny side up. You'll have to care for the child. And at the end of the week, you'll give a report on your experience as parents. When you say care for the egg. Uh, you mean the baby? The baby. How do you mean? You have to treat your egg like it's a real baby. They were a lot more advanced on this subject than my old school. So the assignment is to treat your egg like it's a real baby. Do we have to do this? You have to name it, feed it, watch it at all times, and plan its future. What if we break it? This is worth 25% of your grade. So if you crack, break, lose, or eat your baby, it's an automatic F. OK, but if our egg misbehaves, can we beat it? What's CJH? Is that my ex initials? No, that's my Corleone Junior High stamp. So I'll know you don't switch eggs. Now look inside your baskets and you'll see the name of your partner for the week. But Chris, we have an uneven number of boys and girls, so I thought I'd make you a single father. I know it's something you can relate to with your childhood and all. I have a father. Oh, I know, Chris. If only your mom knew his name. Just so you embrace this project to the fullest, I brought something special for you. If it's my baby's mama, I hope she doesn't have feathers. <sighs> A brown egg? They're all the same on the inside. Except my egg's gonna get pulled over by the police more. Throughout these clips, Miss Morello brings on a persona that she is not intentionally trying to be offensive, and she is just ignorant to the fact that some things should stay in a thought bubble. 
Her character on the show is extremely too outspoken, and she seems to say things without thinking of the consequences of her racially offensive words, and perhaps even how the media of that time described African Americans. This could be questionable considering that when Ms. Morello and Chris first met in earlier seasons, he was the only black student in his all-white school. So could this imply that she simply has never been around a lot of African Americans and she's unaware that certain things should not be said? After studying Ms. Morello's character, I can conclude that she is definitely a character that can represent people that are unaware of the consequences of their words.